Hey everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at this expansion for Clash of Steel from Gale Force 9 uh, Battlefront Miniatures. This is the German Mouse Heavy Platoon with the ginormous mouse tank. There are two tanks in it. Now for those who are the uh, uninitiated, Clash of Steel is kind of an offshoot of Battlefront's Flames of War. It is basically a tank only version of that game and it takes place in 1948, so after World War II in an alternative history. Um, there's also an expansion that lets you add these tanks to your late war uh, Flames of War games if you choose. So you've got lots of options to play with this. Now before we go on with the unboxing, I do want to say that uh, for those who like our Flames of War and Team Yankee content, please do check out our Patreon. Uh, patrons get access to Flames of War and Team Yankee Battle Reports every month, uh, as well as early access and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Also, you can check out our YouTube memberships for cool perks and additional info. All right, uh, that's a commercial over. Let's go back to the unboxing. Uh, they've got a snazzy um, Clash of Steel branding instead of, you know, uh, Flames of War or Team Yankee. Looks pretty nice. Uh, this box uh, contains two models. We see a really nice example of the model there. On the back, we've got uh, another picture. This is actually to scale, so we see how big it is, and uh, the contents. So it doesn't really tell us if we get decals or anything like that. So let's uh, crack this open and uh, see what we get. We get a Clash of Steel code. If anyone wants my code, there you go. And we have a piece of paper. Just a photocopied uh, assembly guide. This tank does not look too complicated to build, but it is basically just one rectangle stacked on top of another rectangle. So. Not too crazy. No um, unit cards or anything like that. Looks like there are two frames for each tank. Looks like they might have been molded this way. And then they broke them apart to fit them in the box, but that makes complete sense. All right, let's take a look at this frame first. Lots of nice crisp detail. Barrel, fuel tanks, gun mantlet, top of the hull, looks like the turret parts, fenders. This is kind of how the T-28 is put together too. Then on this frame we have the giant tracks, the sides of the tank, as well as the floor of the main hull. All right, so it looks very uh, simple to put together. So let's go ahead and uh, assemble these and uh, take a look, maybe compare them to some other models in the range as far as size goes. There we go. Two mouse assembled. Mice? I don't know what the plural of mouse is. Uh, historically, these tanks were constructed. They're not hypothetical tanks. Um, in fact, uh, I think one was captured by the Soviets and is in a Russian museum. Uh, these days, but they never really accomplished anything in the war. They were too big and too unwieldy and not really ready. Um, but they look awesome, and it's one of those legends of, of German armor that's really cool to see in Battlefront plastic, which um, the kits are, are fun. So putting these together, um, very easy. The, these ones were super easy to put together. Uh, my Poor eyesight uh, gave me a little trouble there, but that's on me, not uh, Battlefront. But the fit was really good and uh, no real complaints. Uh, the box sells for about $20 US, so that's about $10 a tank. It is a bare bones box though. There are no unit cards, there are no decals, and there are not even any uh, tank commanders to put in the little open hatch that they provide. Now there are plenty of tank commanders in the two player starter sets that came out. Uh, but 
keep in mind if you're just buying these it's bare bones you're just getting the tank and no nothing else um, but you know these are giant tanks 10 bucks a piece that's I don't know in my book that's pretty affordable and it makes a really iconic um, vehicle for the German army uh, just to give you an idea size wise um, from the American Soviet starter here's a Hellcat you can just see how tiny that is next to it moving up here's a Soviet uh, IS-3 and we can see just how massive that bad boy is and then an American heavy tank this is the T-30 uh, we can see even the T-30 doesn't really come up to the you know, it comes a little bit past the hull, but not much. Um, lengthwise, Mouse is much longer. So even the, the beefiest American tanks are smaller than the Mouse. So there you go. I look forward to this uh, coming to the channel soon. We'll do a unit overview where I actually go over the stats. I didn't want to do that in this video. I just wanted to keep this one short. But I thought you would enjoy taking a look at the mighty Mouse. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If you do like what you see here, do give uh, give us a like and subscribe. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. And again, check out our Patreon if you like our, our uh, battle reports and other content. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.